I've seen my husband do those all the time, so I'm gonna do that too. Get, get, get it. We have something exciting to do. Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm excited. Mom is so excited. You guys. I have a little Amazon haul for you. I'm gonna try and make this quick because I want to get this done before Jared gets home from work. Honey keeps moving my tripod, I'm so sorry. Go away. Also, hi, welcome back to my vlog. Quick Amazon haul. I just ordered all this stuff yesterday and it came to my house this morning. This is just one reason why I love Amazon so much. I finally ordered curtains a curtain rod and hooks for the living room. And I'm going to try and install them myself before my husband gets home. It's currently 427 and he got off work today at four. I think he needs to go to the grocery store before he comes back home, but I'm not 100% sure. So there is a 100% chance that he could walk in while I'm doing this and that terrifies me. But I'm gonna try to do it. First off, let me show you. I can't really show you it because it's in pieces, but this is, let me just, let me just bring you to it, okay? This is the curtain rod that I got. I just found it on Amazon and it looked really nice. It's just a black matte one, which I love. I love matte black anything. So I have to put this together. There's actually two in here because I'm planning on putting a curtain rod up above this one and then up above this one over here. So I have two curtain rods and then I have two, no, four of these like, they kind of look like linen curtains, but they're very like sheer. I wanted something sheer so like sunlight could still get through because y'all know I love my freaking sunlight. So I'm gonna try and hold these up for you, but they're very, very long. I think I got like, the size is like, 52 by 95, which is so long. But I want to put the curtain rods up pretty high because I want to like make the ceilings look taller. But look at these. I think they're gonna look so good and they were so so inexpensive. I think a pack of two was like $22 or something and I got two packs. So I have four curtains and then I'm gonna use these, these like little hook thingies to clip on to the like back of the curtain. You totally don't have to use these. Obviously the curtain comes with like something that you can, you know, slide the, the rod through. But I wanna use these to like clip onto there so that they're like easy to slide and it's just a cute vibe, you know what I mean? I totally got this inspo from Stephanie Rose. She did her apartment like this at the beginning of Vlogmas. Totally copying her style, but it's, I think it'll look so good in here. We need to get started. Am I terrified? Yes. I'm, I'm scared to do this, but Stephanie did it by herself. Like she didn't need her boyfriend to hang up a curtain rod. So I'm like, Chanel, you can do this by yourself too. So we're gonna try. If I can't do it, then I'll just stop and wait for my husband to get home. But I want to at least try it and see where it takes me. Cause who knows, maybe I can do it. And then maybe I don't have to wait for him. I think that is like my number one pet peeve with myself. I always feel like I can't do something. And so I'm always like, oh, I have to wait for Jared to come home and do it. And then it looks so easy when he does it. I'm like, I literally could have done that. So I'm gonna start trying to do more things by myself around the house whenever I need it and then I don't have to be um, an independent woman you know independent queen coming up the problem is I don't know if I need to build it first well probably I need to measure how long I want it maybe I should actually watch a YouTube video on how to make a curtain rod or how high I should hang it above the window I want it pretty high how high too high is, you know what I mean? So maybe let me just watch a short video. Okay, so my rods came with I'm a little instruction manual. Who would have thought, you know? Who would have thought? 2023, they still send instructions. And it also came with a pencil. How neat, because I feel like all we have is pins around this house and then like a little measuring thing. And I just watched a few videos on YouTube and it said to hang the rods, this is a bad angle, hang the rods like four to six inches above and like three to six inches over the window. But you can honestly hang them as high as you want to give the room like the height. So I don't know how high I'm gonna hang them yet. I'll have to see. It's really cool this 
instruction manual has a little picture thingy you can do and it takes you to a YouTube video for like these specific rods and it was very easy to do that way. So I highly suggest that. Now I need to do this other one. Yay, two rods built. I see my husband do this all the time, so I'm gonna do that too. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't. <laughs> I know you can't do it, but I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. I have nowhere to stand. I'm gonna pull. What do we do? Honey, what do we do? Merger, what do we do? Can you be the man of the house and help me? So I'm gonna have to figure out the math for this window because I obviously want the curtains to be even with each other. However, the windows are not even with each other. So I'm gonna have to figure out how tall this one is and then go higher to meet the length of that. But I did, if you can see, I did 10 inches up and then I did five inches out. So I think that'll be good. Art. Okay, well, I clearly failed at that. But not because I didn't try, but because I'm just not tall enough. And that couch is extremely heavy. Like, Jared and I can't move it, the two of us. We have to have, like, somebody else help us because it's so heavy. So I know I wouldn't be able to move it by myself and, like, get a ladder in there or anything. So, unfortunately, I'm definitely not waiting for Jared. But I can start working on the curtains because I did go back and watch a snippet of Stephanie's video and how she did these. Well, these aren't the same curtains that she has, so these are a little different. But what she did is she just like did a little fold up of what the curtains would be like if they're on the rod. So you just fold them up like back and forth. And then this is gonna make it easier for us to put the clips on there because we're gonna know exactly like where the folds are gonna be. Hopefully if all goes well. Okay, so now, oh gosh. <laughs> My folds are definitely smaller at the beginning and a little wider at the end. Let me try this again. Jared did go to the store because we're having a Super Bowl party. I sent him some recipes that I want to make and he's going to go get all the stuff. Okay, well, that's just, I don't know. I can't get them even. I don't even know if they're supposed to be even. But we have the little folds created if you can see if my camera will focus. Now I'm just going to take hooks and like hook them on to each little fold so that we can easily just slide them on to the rod when the rods are hung. I got a pack of 100 curtain hanger thingies, these thingies, and they were like 11, no, I think the pack of 100 was like $20. The curtain rods were 30 something for two of them, and then the two curtains were $22, and I got two sets, so. It was a little pricey, but not as pricey as what we spent on the curtains and curtain rods in our bedroom a few years ago. That was a lot more pricier. And I honestly feel like I like those a lot, but I feel like I'm gonna like these better. But those curtains are also like blackout curtains and I didn't want blackout curtains out here because obviously I want, you know, sunlight to come through and just have it be very like bright and airy and like homey feeling. So I'm excited to see when it's all done. We've been wanting to hang. Oh my God, these are hard 
hard to do sometimes. We've been wanting to hang curtains in here since we got the curtains in our bedroom, which was literally like right around when the whole pandemic hit. So it's been a long, long time. But I'm gonna do this to all four of the curtains and then hopefully Jared will be home soon so we can get them hung. And then I don't know if I'm cutting his hair also. He was gonna go get it cut today, but I told him no because I wanna do it. So we'll see what he ended up doing. I don't know. Wait, let me show you these. Then look. Oh, I think that's good. Looks good. I can now confirm that my matcha that I made a few vlogs ago when I went to Sam's, it was definitely the almond milk because this one is delicious. Like, hmm. So good, so friggin' yummy. And I made it with my own protein drink and then maple syrup and cinnamon. Protein matcha. Well guys, look who's here. And we've only yelled at each other like four times already, so that's fun. Okay, Jared got one of the anchor thingies or the hangy thingies in there. He had to go to Dollar General to get more anchors because he said that the ones that came with them sucked and the ones he has in those he had in the garage, but he didn't have any more. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just waiting for him to hang those up. I got all these things on there and I'm also filming a reel doing this. So it's been kind of hectic. <laughs> No, I'm not giving you any. I'm not giving you any. Okay, you want a potato? It's probably hot. You just said you're not doing it. Be nice. But if I stare long enough at mom, <laughs> uh, she'll give in. Be nice. Okay, guys, we're finally all done. I'm gonna show you in three, two, one. Look how good it looks. It looks so much more homey in here. Are you a fan? Are you a fan, sister? It looks good. It looks good. Honey, really? 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 I have a lot of these hook things left over, so I was thinking of maybe putting them on this shower curtain because the ones we have just don't really go. I just have not ever changed them, but I don't know if they will work because they're actually like whole. Well, I guess they're not that big. Oh, that would definitely, those would definitely work. So yeah, we're gonna do that sometime. Not tonight because it's literally already 9.19. That took so long. Oh, MG, my back and my feet hurt so bad. <laughs> Standing on the back of those couches, well, Jared's back hurts so bad from like standing on the back of the couch and like having to lean back and like drill and stuff. It was to the point where like I was having to stand on the couch and support his back so he like wouldn't have to lean back without like holding on if that makes sense. So yeah, it was a lot of work but I'm so happy that we did it. It looks so much better. It just makes it feel more like a home. Why are you nicking my feet, silly girl? But yeah, I just got a little piece of my huge chocolate. This is the last piece that I have. I need to get more. It's 9.33 and I was still need to wash my makeup off and do my skincare and I still need to edit a lot because I don't want to have to do a lot of editing tomorrow and I didn't get to Jared's haircut which sucks but maybe he can do it Saturday or maybe he'll just have to go get it cut somewhere I don't know but yeah I think I'm just gonna stop vlogging tonight so I can get all this stuff done maybe read a chapter or two of my book I'm so close to being done but I will see you guys in the morning or tomorrow whenever I decide to pick up the camera <laughs>
I'm not gonna say never, but I probably get my nails done maybe twice a year. But Jared finally asked me to be his Valentine today, so I figured I should get these little babies looking cute for the holiday. Not a big Valentine's Day person, but ever since like I have been with Jared, I've enjoyed it a lot more, I will say. But yeah, the nail salon is like right behind the fried pies place where me and my parents went last weekend to get a little fried dessert pie and it was so good and I saw that they have a chicken pot pie on their menu so I'm like dinner dinner should I get a chicken pot pie for dinner because I love chicken pot pie so good so I'm thinking I might do that if they're still open when I get out my appointment's at five and I swear if I sit in that nail salon till six and my nails have not been touched I'm gonna say 5 30 because I don't make an appointment to just go sit there for 30 minutes to an hour so if they have not been touched by 5 30 I am saying something and trying to get in there or I'm going to walk out because it's just so annoying how much time you spend in nail salons and that's like one of the reasons why I don't go is because I feel like it's just such a, the biggest waste of time ever but I really am wanting my nails done I'm just like craving that right now so I'm gonna get them done for Valentine's Day and be all cute So it's 6.06 .06 and I actually got out of there at a really good time. Hi, can I get a chicken pot pie and one apple pie? But I'll have to show you my nails when I get home. They're not in very good lighting right now. It's dark out. Yeah, just happy to report that it did not take three hours in there. An hour, I'm okay with. Literally, it didn't even take that long. Like, I got there right at five o'clock and I sat down in the seat at like 5.15 and I walked out of there at like 6.02. So, that is what I'm talking about. That is beautiful. And I'm actually pretty impressed with them. They're very girly, but they're cute. Oh, 8.90. Need to receive back your card? Yes, please. Thank you. A couple minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Have yep. a good evening. You too. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. So I'm back home now and I have my pies. Here's my chicken pot pie. Look how good. Look how good that looks. Mmm. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's so good. Also, look at my nails. This isn't the best lighting, but I'll have to show you later when I'm not stuffing my face with a chicken pot pie. I'm also on the phone with Jared. One more thing tonight. Oh no, it fell apart. We gotta do on Saturday. What? I have to go get my hair professionally cut. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, good thing I'm a pro. Dogs, I'm not giving you any of my chicken pot pie. Go eat your own food. Sister, go. You guys, my apple one fell apart, but look. Oh no, it's going everywhere. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. And it's all mine. Nope. Sister's got her blanket and hers is ready for bed. Are you ready for bed? Huh? It literally melts my heart every single time she carries her blanket into the room. Like it was just laying on the ground. I was like, let's go to bed. And she just picked it up <laughs> and came back here. You are seriously the cutest thing ever. Yes, you are. So I got my video up and now I am about to lay in bed. I am so tired. I really want to watch Jersey Shore Family Vacation because it's the third week that it's been out and I just watched the first two episodes today. Usually I watch it right when the episode airs but I just have not had the time lately so I had to catch up today. But also, let me show you my nails. Look at them. Do we like? Are they cute? They're very, very girly. I don't know how I feel about them. Well, I mean, they're cute. I'm just not used to like the girliness of them. I wanted round shape, but she gave me almond. I told her like four times, these are definitely almond. There's definitely a point to them, but it's whatever. These were $60. Like what the frick? That is so expensive. If I don't get lucky with my Valentine, like, oh, he can pay me back for my nails, okay? But seriously. Look. Do we like them? I feel like they're picking up more pink on camera than what they are. They're not that pink, but they they do have the chrome. They're like the Hailey Bieber nails, but just pink. I don't know, I like them, but maybe I should have just went like with a, a lighter pink. Yeah, these are my Valentine's Day nails. Well, hello, you guys. Sorry, I'm trying to deal with this lighting that I have going on. It's not great. Um, You're in my way. Get back. Move, you're in my way. I just made a protein matcha and it's so good. It's 4.13, I just 
clocked out of work and I just sat down and I'm gonna read some of my book. I know I've been reading this book literally all year. I know you're probably annoyed with me. I'm annoyed with myself, but I just don't ever read anymore unless it's like right before I go to bed. Just because I feel like all that I'm doing is editing, 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 or just living, which I'm not gonna like shame on myself for just living life. But recently I've just been living a lot more and so I've been like cramming down on my editing that I have no time to read. But you know, it is what it is, that's life. I really want to finish this book soon. It's so good, like it's nothing what I, was expecting it to be. If you've read the book, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying, but I'm so close to being done. I think I have like 50 pages left. I'm on chapter 56, which is page 320, and there are 69 chapters and 380 pages. So I have about 70 pages left, and I am going to finish it this weekend, if not tonight. I'm not really doing anything what I thought I was gonna be doing tonight. I thought I was gonna be going to the grocery store, also getting Granger some birthday toys and birthday treats and stuff that I can make because tomorrow is his birthday. He's gonna be four years old. Just so crazy. It seems like we've had him forever. Like I don't know a time without him anymore, but he's gonna be four years old. And I don't think we're gonna like throw a party or anything because the following day we're gonna have like our Super Bowl party. So we'll just count that as his like fourth birthday party. But I still kind of want to make him treats or something since I made honey some or at least get him treats and then like a toy or something because he's my first child and I love him so much. But yeah, I just don't feel like going to the grocery store or anything tonight. So I'm just gonna have a chill night at home. Today is February 10th, which means the After the Altar episode for Love is Blind 3 came out today. So I'm definitely gonna watch that. I wanna finish Emily in Paris. I have two episodes of Emily in Paris left. So we're just gonna have a finishing our things day today. Cause I'm gonna finish my book. I'm gonna finish Love is Blind 3 after the Altar episode that aired today. And then I'm gonna finish Emily in Paris. I also want to take those hook thingies that I did with the curtains and put them on our shower curtain. We're gonna try it later and yeah. I think this is gonna be the last day of this vlog because I might start a new one tomorrow. I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm vlogging this weekend yet or not. I feel like I want to, but I feel like I also don't want to. <laughs> I don't know, we'll just have to see. But I'm gonna dive into my book, get as far as I can on it. I also need to edit tonight because I have family coming into town tomorrow. So that means I'm gonna be busy like all weekend and I'm not gonna have any time to edit to post on Monday. But yeah, I'm wasting time. Catch you in a little bit. So it's a little bit later, I read for like, an hour but I wanted to get your opinion on something real fast I was getting ready to do my hooks for the shower curtain but I wanted to ask your guys's opinion and I need you guys to comment you see y'all not commenting when I ask you stuff and I need you guys to comment and tell me whether I need to do this or not Jared loves you know the curtains and how it looks and everything except he thinks that we also need to put one here at my desk and I just don't think we do. Like, I, I don't think it's needed because I feel like this is the living room. This is cozy, this is homey, this is like one section of our home, even though it's like together, an open floor plan. I feel like this is just the cozy, homey part of our living room, you know? And then this is like a separate part. So do we need another rod and curtain there? My vote is no, Jared's vote is yes. So I need you guys to let me know down in the comments what we should do. I'm like far from an interior designer. I literally have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to this stuff. So anybody's opinion is very welcomed and appreciated. Curtains or no curtains? Let me know. Hmm, how do I do this? I'm scared. Let me just test the one to see if it'll work first. Hey, Maxis. Watch out. These are so old. I kind of want new curtains in general. I mean, they're cute, but I just, I put these on my wedding registry like three years ago and I just want something different. So I think I just can clip them and it'll just hang. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, you can see the hole though. That's not very cute. Um, I don't know, should I do it? Let me do one more. I don't know. It looks weird, I think. I don't even know how to do this. Maybe I won't be doing this. I am independent. I can at least freaking do this, Chanel. Yes, you can. It's probably gonna fall down, but that's okay. Do I have to take the whole thing down? <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Oh, shoot. Wait, wait. <gasps> I feel like this. Got it! <laughs> I got it! 
Sister, watch out. Okay, so I got it all done, and these are what were on there before. For reference, they literally don't even match, but these were the only ones that we got for our shower, and so we just put them up there until we got something new, like, what, three years later now. But you can hardly even see them, and I actually like them. I could always add a lot more, too, since I don't have to have holes for them, which I think I might add more, but they look so much better. They're not, like, bling. I kind of like this. It's not terrible. And I think it would look really good with like a solid color shower curtain, which will happen sometime. Just not right now. It's not like a priority, but yeah. I did it by myself. Independent queen. So it's much later. It is now 6.55 and I made dinner. This is like my sushi bowl, but a different version, I guess. Okay, I just have rice, avocado, um, salmon, and then I have like some, the salmon packets. And then I made a little sauce of avocado mayo, liquid aminos, coconut aminos, wasabi, and honey mustard. And then I have some seaweed slices over here and then I also brought over some popcorn because I am watching Love is Blind the altar thing. I did not know that there's three new episodes. I thought it was just one so yeah it's gonna take me a little longer to watch than I thought. I already watched the first one and I'm about to start the second one. I just don't know if I'm gonna get through everything tonight like I thought I was going to. Yeah I'm gonna eat my dinner and probably just close the video out here because I'm literally not doing anything else the rest of the night. So yeah I might start a new video tomorrow I don't know yet but I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a very random video I feel like it was just so weird <laughs> but anyway if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below I respond to all my comments so let's chat if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me and I guess until next time I will see you in my next video bye guys thanks for watching go out and make the world smile